It is the first book haul of 2024. Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be the first book haul of 2024. I'm so excited. I love doing book haul videos. I got a collection of physical books for Christmas and I also got a Barnes & Noble's gift card so I was able to go and pick out my own books. So I have a good collection of books that I'm going to show y'all and then after the book haul I'm going to show y'all an unhaul which is all the books I'm getting rid of this year which I only have three for right now but I figured I would still throw it in here real quick but book haul videos are probably one of my favorite videos to watch. I just there's something about like unboxing books or just like showing off what you're about to read. It's just so fun. I don't know. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Be my best friend and yeah, let's just get into the haul. So the first book, I'm gonna start out with the ones that I was physically gifted first. Um, so the first one I got was Forever Interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is the same author of Daisy Jones and the Six, which I have read and I really liked that book. But yeah, Forever Interrupted. This is about a girl who, I think she goes out on, yeah, it's New Year's Day and she goes out and she meets this guy and they basically instantly hit it off, fall in love. And I'm pretty sure they're already like, yeah, it says that they're head over heels in love. So like they're together. And then nine days later, he, the guy is riding his bike and he gets hit by a car and is killed. And uh, yeah, this seems like kind of a really sad book the last line on the back of this gets me. It says, forever interrupted will remind you that there is more than one way to find a happy ending. So I'm a little nervous to read this book. It has good reviews. So I'm excited to read this, but I'm also a little scared, but I'm hoping it's good. And yeah, the next book that I got is probably one of my favorite books that I got because I actually asked for this one, like it was on my list. And that is the hardcover version of Crescent City. This is the first book. And if you don't know, this is by Sarah J. Mass. She's the author of the Akatar series, Throne of Glass series, and the Crescent City series. So this is the first one. And it is a chunky book. It is huge. Um, I asked for the hardcover. I just, I usually don't like hardcovers, but I think the hardcover is prettier. And I just, I kind of like how big it is. So I asked for this. My boyfriend got me this. If you don't know, I'm going to be honest, I'm not entirely sure, like, the whole this series all of her series are like intertwined together in a way kind of like they're all fey um and so i believe the main character in this is like half fey half human um i don't know the full like summary of the book i know that this one out of her series is like kind of the most confusing i'm pretty sure from what i've heard um but this is the first one there's a second one and then the third book actually comes out i believe january 30th so i was gonna try to finish um the throne of glass series and then read this in the second book so i could read the third book the day it came out but there's just literally no way i'm gonna get to it because i'm currently in the tandem read of the throne of glass series and then i have kingdom of ash which is the last book and then i would have this book the second one and then i'd be ready for the third one so there's just no way that i'm going to be able to finish it but yeah really excited for this can't wait to read this series next book that i got i love the cover on this it's called the paper palace by miranda cowley heller um this is a part of reese's book club which funny story i did not know that this was reese witherspoon's book club until like last week literally had no idea i don't know who i thought reese was reese is not that common of a name but yeah, just figured I'd throw that out there to y'all because I did not know that. This book is about this girl who is at, is it the lake? Yeah, it says she's at a Cape Cod cabin where her family has spent every summer for generations and she's married, but there's also another couple there who, I'm guessing it's like a friend from her childhood who also is married and the two, God, this is getting confusing. So there's two couples, but the, the main girl who like grew up at this place in this cabin she got together with the guy from the other relationship so they like cheated on their spouses together and uh, i don't know i don't know how i feel about that trope honestly but um she basically has to choose between if she wants to stay with her husband or like get with her the friend that she got with um because i guess when they were kids they thought they were going to be together forever so now she has to decide between her husband and this childhood friend 
Reese Witherspoon actually has like a little review on the back and it says a deeply emotional love story. The unraveling of secrets lies in a very complex love triangle. Love triangles are not my favorite trope, but I don't like hate them, if that makes any sense. So, so yeah, I'm excited to read this and see where it goes. I'm not really sure how, I don't know. It seems like a lot is going on in that book. The next book that I got is Becoming Calder by Mia Sheridan. This is the author of Archer's Voice, which I'm sure everyone has read and loved. It's like a very well-known loved book. I read it, loved it. The cover also reminds me of that book. Like Archer's Voice is the same kind of like bluish color, but it says, there's a place in today's America with no electricity, no plumbing, and no modern conveniences. In this place, there is no room for dreams, no space for self-expression, and no tolerance for ambition, which that alone already is like really interesting to me. It, it, sound, it kind of sounds like a dystopian. Is dystopian the bad kind? Isn't there like a good and a bad kind? But it says, in the community of Acadia lives a boy named Calder with the body of a god and the heart of a warrior. And then I guess this girl comes into this place named Eden and she's not like anyone else there. She's different. And they end up, I guess, becoming friends and eventually falling in love. It honestly is kind of reminding me of the movie. Well, I guess it's a book too, but it's called The Giver. Does anyone else remember that? It has Taylor Swift makes an appearance in it. We had to read the book in like eighth grade and the movie came out and Taylor Swift like plays the piano. She's like the giver's son or something or... Oh my god, Taylor Swift is not a boy. The gift, the giver's daughter. I cannot speak today, oh my god. But yeah, that's kind of what this is reminding me of, but I'm excited for this. Hey guys, so I have two more books and I'm really excited about these. I've actually already started reading these books and that is the Tandem Read, which is the last couple books in, well, it's the sixth and seventh book in the Throne of Glass series. So it's Tower of Dawn and Empire of Storms. If you don't know, you can read these at the same time. Um, I don't know if it's like encouraged to, like if the author has actually come out and said that. I'm not sure if Sarah J. Mass has said that, but it's widely known that these happen at the same time. You're supposed to tandem read them. So if you can't tell, I've actually started, I could not wait any longer. I started to tandem read. But yeah, I got these with the gift card that I got for Barnes and Nobles for Christmas, which can we just talk about how expensive Barnes and Nobles is? These books were like $42 together. I almost had a heart attack at the register, like literally almost had a heart attack because after I bought these, I went on Amazon to see how much they were on Amazon and they were like $12 each on Amazon. So I'm really sorry to say it guys, but I will not be going to Barnes and Nobles again until I get like a gift card because although the atmosphere is great, they are so expensive for no reason. I mean, they're, these were literally almost double what Amazon charges. So it's just not freaking worth it to me. I know readers love Barnes and Nobles and I do too, but I'm gonna save that for special occasions. Okay guys, that was the end of the book haul. So now we're gonna move on to kind of like the unhaul portion, the books that I'm going to be getting rid of. So I wanna start out by saying that I think I am going to take these to like the little free libraries. I think that's what they're called. I'll insert a picture of that too, like kind of what they look like. I grew up with one actually kind of close to my house. So I'm pretty familiar with them. I haven't been to one down where I moved to in Austin. I haven't been to one yet, but I'm gonna find some and I'm gonna go put these in there. I got two of these books already secondhand. I got them from either Half Priced Books or Goodwill. And then the other one I got as one of those um, like blind date with a book things that you can buy on like Etsy. But I think even those books were secondhand. So all of these books are already secondhand and I love recycling books. So I think I'm gonna take these to a little free library. But the first book that I'm unhauling is called Without a Hitch by Mary Hollis Huddleston, and I'm pretty sure that there's another off author under this sticker. I guess I could take the sticker off, especially if I am donating it. Okay, I did not know that, but it's by two authors. So it's by Mary Hollis Huddleston and Asher Fogglepaw, Fogglepaw, not sure. I started this book, the cover is the cutest thing ever. I mean, it's like a wedding cake and there's a groom that's like skydiving over here and like the little champagne flutes, but started this book is about a girl who she's a wedding planner and chapter after chapter was just the same thing over and over like different weddings that were going wrong and i feel like there wasn't a real plot um at least as far as i got i think i got maybe like 75 pages in but every chapter was just a new wedding like there was nothing else that she was working towards there was nothing happening to me like i just i couldn't do it i physically could not do it and i wanted to so bad because 
This book actually takes place like kind of in my hometown up in Fort Worth. So like a lot of the places that she was talking about were really like strangely close to my hometown. And I didn't even live in a big city. Like I lived in the Fort Worth area, but like not in Fort Worth. So like the places that she was describing was so weird to me. I was like, does she live where I live? Like it was really weird. So for that reason alone, I really wanted to finish this book and I just could not do it. I feel like there was no plot. And yeah, getting rid of this. The next one is the book that I got from that blind date with a book from Etsy, which I think is a great idea. Like I love the idea of being surprised with a book and like trying to guess what it is. And the girl that sent this to me, I love her account. I cannot remember what it is now, but she sent like hot chocolate with it and stickers and I think like a bookmark. It, she was amazing, but it's called The Orphan Master's Son. It's based on a true story, I'm pretty sure, about a guy who like escapes from North Korea. It's his like harrowing escape. This book also is a winner of the Pulitzer Prize. Like how you would think that this book would be amazing. And I'm sure it is to some people who love history so I picked Thriller. I'm like 99% sure I picked Thriller for that on her Etsy page, but this is like a historical thriller and look at how small the text is. Like I just, I personally wasn't really understanding the story. Like I just, I don't think it was a matter of I didn't like it. I just didn't understand it. I was getting so lost. I could not figure out like what was happening and that kind of made me not like it. I don't want to read something if I can't understand it. So sadly i think i'm getting rid of this i don't think it's fair for me to try to reread it i just don't i don't want to put the time and effort into it and someone else may benefit from it more so i'm gonna donate this the last book in the unhaul is called the shack which is like kind of like a mystery thriller i got maybe 20 pages into this and it just was not for me i get that maybe i should have kept going a little bit longer but yeah, it just was not for me. It's about a girl, I'm pretty sure, like a daughter that goes missing from this like shack. And a couple of years later, he gets a note from like an anonymous person saying to like come back to the shack. And I didn't even get to that part, but I just, this, this book also, oh my God. I have been looking for this gift, gift card. <laughs> bookmark it's from Windstar casino that we go to but this is like a bookmark that I use like one of them and it was in this book oh, that's how long it's been since I've read this that is so funny I've been looking for this for like a month or two but yeah I just could not keep going in this book like again the text is so so painfully small in this and I just couldn't do it I could not do it so I'll be donating this but yeah guys that was all of the books a part of my book haul and my unhaul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm really excited to read all of these books. I don't even know where I want to start. I feel like I should read The Crescent City first just because the new book is coming out and I really want to get to that when everyone else is reading it. Like I don't want to be super behind, you know, like reading it three, four months after. So I think I'm just going to keep reading the Throne of Glass series. I'm definitely going to finish the tandem read because that's what I'm in the middle of. And then I'll probably go buy Kingdom of Ash. I just really want to finish this series. So I don't know. We'll see. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I know it wasn't like a crazy amount of books. I always see YouTubers do book hauls with like 50 books. And I'm like, how did you spend that much money? I just couldn't do it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on all of my links down below. And yeah. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.